This is Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Sunday blogger, Rosemary. Welcome. You're probably going to see this late in the afternoon. I'm, I apologize. I went to church today and just been really busy, 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 trying to get back to the routine. Okay, uh, straight to the question. Lifestyle changes. What changes as your weight loss surgery and weight loss created in your life? If you can give us an example. Well, I have several examples. Um, you know, back in the day, I would always, uh, you know, try and park. Like if I went to the grocery store, I would try and park the closest. Well, not anymore. Especially if I'm by myself, I almost all the time go to the very end of the parking lot, fight it. Usually it's here because I'm in California, I try and find a shady spot, um, but it's going to be at the end of the parking lot. And I'm, I'm always thinking of ways to uh, get extra steps in for the day, and that's what I do now. Before, that would never be me, ever. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It's a wonderful feeling, too. Um, I wrote some things down so I wouldn't forget. Um, so the extra walking. Uh, I look for ways to exercise. Uh, the other day, I, uh, I love my kettlebell. I, I think I've talked to you guys about it. I have it usually right here, but uh, the other day what I did is I, I take my kettlebell and I walk extra steps with it. Uh, when I go to the bathroom. So now when I go to the bathroom, I know it sounds crazy, but you guys, I'm, my bedroom's on one side of the house and my, and my restroom's on the other side of the house. So anyway, so what I do is I grab the kettlebell and I go from side to side like this, <laughs> all the way to the restroom. And then if I leave it that over there, I, well, I left it over there today. I left it over there and then while I'm there, and I'm finished with the restroom. I do a few minutes on my elliptical. I know this sounds crazy, but these are the changes that I've made for myself. And so anyway, I try to find extra things that I can do uh, while I'm here at the house. I know it sounds crazy, believe me, but it works for me. And you know what is really amazing? Today I got an on-scale victory, and I'm going to share it with you. Nedra and I uh, went to church this morning, and at our church, we are doing a brown bag gift. And uh, basically, uh, uh, they're going to be brown bags, and you put a pink for boy, uh, blue for blue for boy, pink for girl, and you fill it up with uh, whatever you can in the brown bag. And I got a scarf, a hat, gloves for a boy. I put a little bit of candy, toothbrush, and. Uh, anyway, the little items that you can put, anything that you can put in a brown bag, and they're going to be sent to Mexico. And uh, and uh, so anyway, we have to have them by Sunday. So anyway, I was and I was walking, and she, I was in front of her. She was behind me. She goes, Rosemary, wow, you know, from one month ago to today, you have changed. She goes, your butt is not as big as it was. <laughs> and I thought. Andrew, thanks. I really appreciate that. And it, I really did. But for me, that's a non-scale victory. So all of these little exercises, they help. Okay, that's one or two. Uh, three, I ate just because I had to. Does that make sense? Like, back in the day, I would eat breakfast. I'd eat lunch with my kids. My, I was, I'm a school teacher. And I would eat lunch with my kids. And then they gave us an hour break for um, lesson plans. And I would pick up a snack for that. And then I'd go, right before I went home, uh, I would stop at Jack in the Box, because there was a Jack in the Box near us, and have something, because I wanted to have enough. I was hungry. I thought I was hungry. And that was like my, my in-between uh, before I ate dinner. You know, time to prepare for dinner or whatever. Then I'd eat dinner. And then I eat a late snack. And, you know, I stop and think about why I got fat. And there's a lot of reasons why I got fat. But a lot of the reasons was because I thought it was necessary to eat just to eat. And not eat when you're hungry. Now, that's changed for me. I eat when I'm hungry. Now, 
I do wonders with water now because before I never thought about it, but I never really drank water. And if you think about it, the more you drink, the more you're not so hungry because you're always got something in your stomach anyway. Basically, water. So, that has really helped. Um, and uh, I wear more fitted clothes now. Uh, before, I wore tents, you know. I wore moo's for everything. So, I really didn't feel uh, that, you know, I think the more fitted you wear, the more conscious you are about your body. Does that make sense? Um, I, um, found, I find ways now to to present my body like I like, I like my, my body now I, I, I like taking pictures now before that's another thing before I never took pictures I didn't care to take pictures and uh, now it doesn't bother me to take pictures not that I'm being vain or anything but I think that we just have a better self image of ourselves when we take care of ourselves anyway I don't really want to make this that long but uh, that's changed for me and all positive all positive uh, I can I can say you know with confidence now that um, I am proof that weight loss surgery works <laughs> bye for now guys I hope you come back next Sunday see you then bye for now